Okay, we're finally adding a boss to this game. This is going to be the first boss introduced, so we're not going to go too hard on the mechanics here. And like with all the other mobs, we start with its idle state. And once those sprites are done and assigned in Game Maker, the boss is in. Next are the other states. I don't want to keep this boss stationary as you fight it, so I'll have it crawl across the ground every now and then. Obviously it's going to have a hitbox as it crawls, so we apply that. I'll also use that trail system from the previous video to make it feel heavy. Now, it'd be pretty boring for this boss to snap as it changes direction, so let's give it a turnaround attack state. All this is going to do is jump to face the player, and of course a hitbox will be applied here too. The next state will be a little more unique here. Simply crawling in a straight line is pretty boring. So let's have it also dig down and chase the player. I'll be using the same trail system here, but this time inverted. And then give it a hitbox as the boss rises back up. Lastly, I'll give it a long range spin attack after it digs. These projectiles will have a Z axis to it. That way it stops once it reaches the ground. It'll also spin twice once it reaches a certain health, just to screw with the player. Overall, I'd say this boss took me about several weeks to make, and I'm not really that satisfied with how it looks, but I'm not redoing all of that. So what do you guys think? Is this alright for a starter boss? 